Hey traders, welcome back to another mindset sharing video. So I know um, a lot of you are doing profit challenges. I don't even know how many of you, but I know tons of you. I have discussed about this topic before, but whenever I see um, big groups of you are taking profit challenges, etc., it just sort of um, makes me want to stand up as I'm a little bit concerned. Um, some of you might be approaching prop firms with the proper mindset, uh, the professional way. Some of you might be looking at prop firms at, uh, as, a, um, as a faster way to grow your capital, um, to make more money, etc. So I would like to just simply remind all of you a few things if you are currently doing prop firm challenges or if you are planning to do prop firm challenges. Regardless of how much profit capitals you have, if you are not a six figures trader yourself, it means if you don't have a personal um, six figures capital, you can't call yourself a six figure trader. Um, I want all of you to understand this, um, understand my standpoint. Lots of gurus um, nowadays online, on YouTube, whatever, they claim themselves as a um, as a six seven figures trader but what they really do is they are relying on prop firms which means someday when prop firms are down they're down together as well i don't want any of you to fall into that trap as much as you love prop firms um the very honest the very honest feedback is just they are really not there to help you i know a lot of you especially if you don't have a lot of personal money right now you see prop firms as a holy thing as a, as a strand of light as as hope i'm not here trying to break your hope to shatter your hope but i'm rather trying to um click you up or trying to point you towards the right direction and there's no wrong taking prop firms but if you are good enough if you have proven your skill you became a prop firm trader six figures traders whatever remember to reinvest your profits back to your personal capital because in the end of the day you can only become a real professional trader a real full-time trader when you have tons of securities in your account and that security by by all means is your personal capital something that is accessible at any point of time something that is withdrawable at any point of time and that entire amount is yours because you see Prop firms, they are designed in a way where they have max drawdown, maybe 10%. They have 5% uh, max daily drawdown. They have an upfront challenge fees. I know challenge fees refundable, but that's only if you get to your first payout. All of us here, just ask yourself, how many times have you blew a challenge account? The answer is probably quite a lot, right? Some of you probably blew more than 10, 20, 30 accounts. Let's put that put that aside and the, the the key point here is just they are not designed in a way to make you pass and make you rich. If they are prop firms, these online prop firms, for example, like FTMO, like my Forex fund my Forex funds in the past, true Forex fund, um, just tons of them, right? Nowadays we got 20, 30, 40 prop firms out there. They are not here to make you rich because if you are rich means you are a risk against them all right they they are able to generate millions of dollars of revenue per year ftmo for example they go beyond beyond hundreds of millions of revenue how are they able to achieve that figure is exactly because 90 percent plus of traders come into the market um just trying to take advantage of prop firms without realizing that they are not even a good trader yet. So today, if your goal is to say, I want to become a prop firm trader, make sure you have the skill set. You can do it. And I have to agree with that. Prop firms is one of the fastest way to, to sort of um, boost your trading growth. But the same thing, as fast as it can boost your trading growth, is as fast as how much it can ruin you as well. Because one challenge, to be honest, is not cheap, right? For majority of us, um, let's say one prop firm challenge, 100K, 200K is $600, $700, or $1,000, $1, $200, whatever. It's not cheap, 
right? especially if you are living in Asia if your income is I'm, I'm not sure about your income but that's one thing I have to remind all of it it's not cheap so no matter what even if you get to the funded phase you are only issued with a demo account demo account so what does that mean they have the ability they have the right to take uh, to take everything away from you if they are really issuing uh, 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 signing you up as a professional trader why don't you think they give you a real funds the main thing is they never have the money anyway they're able to pay you for example I used to make decent amount of money from my forex fund FTMO as well they pay my payouts using someone else failed challenge fees all right I believe most of us we should know this by now you are not being paid you're not being reward because you trade well it's not like um, a real um, a real a book prof firm where they just have a have a proper profit split with you they are sort of playing the game here playing the trick here so yeah I'm, I'm again to clarify this I'm not here trying to say the bad the bad things about prop firms they are good only if you have the proper skill set all right so don't approach prop firms with the mindset of oh if I get to six figures funded I can make a lot of money no it doesn't it's not that way it's really not that way you need to prove your skill set first then you go for funded you attempt funded and see how you perform I right, funded for me it's just a small achievement right it's nothing but a small achievement and another thing from my personal experience um, from my years of trading experience it's, it is very easy especially in short term um, in short term trading especially in spread betting uh, like FX trading it's very easy to go through 10% drawdown very very easy so if you want to trade profit for long term unfortunately I have to be honest with you it is not easy to maintain a funded account all right occasionally you might accidentally blow your account unless you risk extremely little one of our members here Chris he is he's been holding his funded account for a very long time but one trick uh, one, one strategy that he used is he only risk 0.25 or 0.5 percent per trade so if he do that obviously he will be able to maintain a prop firm's account for months or even up to a year but the main thing is if you are risking 1% to 2% per trade on a profit account it only take 10 of 10 to 5 trade for you to blow the account so it's very easy all of us here we experience 5 losing streaks 10 losing streaks it's not something uncommon it is normal so if any of you right now if you have been doing profit challenge but find yourself failing again and again maybe it's time to take a step back put some small money into your personal capital and try to develop your skill set all right because once you are good trust me it's a little bit risky but you will still be able to grow a small account into a big account i used to turn four thousand into six figures and obviously now a lot bigger but how was i able to do that within a year it was because i had the skill set I risk a lot more I know it was some some people say oh it's so aggressive it's so risky you are gambling yada yada the main thing was I know what I was doing it was on my second year of trading I knew what I was doing I was happy to risk more I calculated the risk I managed my position well and I was able to grow small few thousand into six figures all right if I can do it all of you can do it as well so don't give yourself excuse as oh prof firm is the only way out no your personal capital is your only way out because if you don't have personal capital you're not a real trader all right every single professional trader they have their own money invested because that sort of act as a a backup plan as well all right you, you can't just say oh are you all in into online prop firms you got 200k funded then once the companies go down you are you're back to zero then you have to restart the whole challenge thing again maybe you fail one time fail two times it takes you a couple of months 
So yeah, this is just a short mindset sharing to remind all of you the importance of growing your personal capital and the importance of approaching online prop firms with the correct mindset, correct attitude. Because if you are not having the correct mindset, trust me, you will lose all of your money buying stupid challenges. It is real. I've seen it before. It really will happen. All right. We'll talk to you later.